Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today's video is a little bit different and you can see I'm kind of hastily thrown together. I just threw my hair back, don't even know how it looks. Really excited because the holidays have begun. Today we are going to talk about the entire the entire hourglass holiday ambient lighting edit unlocked we have the elephant we have the tiger and we have the butterfly I, it's still hot outside here in southern california but the holidays have officially begun in fact if you'll excuse me let's do it let's do it put the santa hat on the cow okay it's officially the holidays. The reason I'm kind of hastily thrown together here and just came on is I was going to play with all these and kind of throw them all over my face. And then I thought, let's just do it together. So here's my plan. If right now I literally just have complexion done and a little bit of hourglass lip gloss, and I figured we'd throw this stuff on all over my face and try it all on. I'll do individual looks with the palettes. You'll see it debuting in other videos. And I'll probably do some TikToks. In fact, I will do some TikToks devoted to each palette. And I'll wear them here on YouTube, too, if that's where you see all your good makeup stuff. As YouTube is my main venue. But, you know, I'll, do, I'll put it in different spots so you guys can see each palette on its own. But today what I want to do is do an overview of all of it, including all of the shades, all at once on me. So if we did this right, it's going to be a little bit of a mess, but it should be a lot of fun. The first thing I want to do is talk about it. And you guys have probably seen all of this gorgeous artwork. So... Hourglass got together with a London-based illustrator by the name of Katie Scott. She does a lot of these gorgeous, you know, illustrations, really. And she got together with Hourglass to do these gorgeous animal illustrations for these different covers. Uh, and that is because Hourglass has chosen to give 5%, which is quite a chunk, 5% of all profits to the Non-Human Rights Project. If you haven't heard of the Non-Human Rights Project, you should look it up. They are actually a civil rights organization for animals, for non-humans, for rights for animals, because as you know, Hourglass is sincerely devoted to being cruelty free, and they are quite literally putting their money where their mouth is with this project. So they're giving 5% of proceeds, it's a nice chunk, um, to the Non-Human Rights Project. So definitely look them up. Um, if you are interested. Very interesting stuff. And of course, um, as I said, our illustrator here, Katie Scott, has done this beautiful, you know, I need to chill because the holiday is coming fast and furious and there's so much good stuff. But darn it if I didn't get the entire Natasha Denona collection and darn it if I didn't get this entire collection. Oh, each one is $85. Please do not do the math. I know. Here's how I see it, you guys. I professionally review makeup, so I don't have to buy them all. But, and I've said this a bunch of times in my videos, I have no business reviewing makeup if I don't still love it. If at the core of me, it doesn't still excite me, and it does. So I admit these were bought with my heart for me, not just for review. I admit it. Okay, so... You know. All right, so we're going to talk about each of these. We are going to swap in studio lighting and in outdoor sunshine. And I really recommend paying attention to the outdoor swatches. I think hourglass is tough to swatch. You know, a lot of it is finishing powder and such. Um, so it's nice to see it in the uh, sunlight. I think that it just looks a little better that way. And we're going to play with it. I mean, each of these. Now, let me tell you something else here because we're going to look at all of them. I believe that my information for what shades are new and what shades are pre-existing is correct, but raise your hand at home and put it in comments if you had some trouble with the website. I had trouble whenever I clicked on elephant, uh, it gave me all the elephant info. When I would click on tiger or butterfly, it would switch to say tiger or butterfly, but with the elephant info. And so I went to another, I, and actually, when I first placed my order, it, even though I changed it to Tiger and Butterfly, it wanted to sell me three elephant palettes. So I went and tried Safari instead of Firefox, and it was better but not perfect. Uh, so I waited till my palettes arrived to get my information together, and I think I'm correct. I'm usually correct, but you know, if I make a mistake on one of the shades, is new or existing, just let us know below. Don't get all upset, please, but definitely let me know. Just 
just a girl doing the best she can up here behind the camera, in front of the camera, in front of the camera this time. Uh, to go from being a journalist to a presenter is really different. <laughs> Let me tell you, in front of the camera. Okay, so let's take a look at these. The other thing I want to tell you before we look, and we're going to get into this and all this info will be finished, since you're spending $85, if you like one of the palettes but prefer some of the artwork, please know that you can go on the Hourglass website and actually choose your color story and match it with the cover of your choice. So if you love the tiger palette but want the elephant cover, you can do that, okay? Ask me any questions about that if you want. So today, since I bought all three as they were intended originally from Hourglass, that's how we're gonna look at them, but please know you can actually mix and match. You can't break up the color stories Darn it, or we would all make it with the new shades, right? But you know what I'm saying. All right, so let's first look at our gorgeous elephant. Here is our elephant right here. Oh, look at the artwork, you guys. I love it. It's not that I don't love Chantecaille artwork, I do, but there's something about the way that they do. Oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. All right, so let's talk about the elephant. My calculations show us two existing shades and one new. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. We have um, our Ambient lighting powder and dim light, we will swatch these as best as you can swatch finishing powders. That is existing, according to my records. We have our ambient lighting powder in soft light, pale peach, that is existing. And then all the rest are new, including this um, ambient metallic strobe lighting powder and a beaming strobe light golden sun, that's new. We have, we're gonna try this here in a moment, this ambient bronzing powder in lustrous bronze light, bronze heat, that's new. Our ambient lighting blush in the iridescent coral peony, that's a new blush. And our ambient lighting blush in radiant rose berry is also new according to my records. As I fingerprint up my brand new mirror, we're, gonna, we're going to swatch that in a moment, but moving at breathtaking speed to the Tiger palette. Here's the artwork, you've seen the artwork already, but it's their beautiful, nice heavy palettes. They are magnetized, they stick to one another, so they are magnetized. They're weighty, really feel like quality. What else do we expect for $85 a pop? Don't do the math, I don't wanna know. Okay, here is the Tiger palette. And inside the Tiger palette, we have my calculations. This is our deepest palette. The one I just showed you, the elephant, seems to be for mm, the middle, medium skin tone, maybe my skin tone and deeper. And this seems to be our deepest shades. The tiger is, um, in my calculations, only one existing shades and five new ones. And my calculations, the very first existing shade is this finishing powder, the ambient lighting finishing powder in transcendent light, which is kind of a deeper finishing powder if I get my finger off it. Then my calculations have a new ambient metallic strobe lighting powder right here in brilliant glow strobe, which is like a translucent peach highlighter. The ambient lighting blush in burnished glow warm coral. That's a blush that's new. Then I have a new ambient metallic strobe lighting powder um, in like a true golden shade. That's a highlighter, of course, new. Uh, ambient metallic strobe lighting powder in copper flash strobe light. That's new highlighter. And a blush here that's new, the ambient lighting blush in iridescent rose. It's like a warm kind of medium rose. And this is our deepest uh, skin friendly shades. Last but not least, blowing through it so that we can get to the stuff you guys want to see. Um, we have our gorgeous butterfly artwork on the butterfly pal palette. Can you tell I'm just like breathless. I'm so excited to get this stuff on my face. And on our butterfly palette, my calculations show three old, three new, I think, which uh, this is our lightest palette for the fairest skin, it seems to me. We have um, an existing ambient lighting powder in ethereal light. I know that I have that. I know that's um, existing. Ambient strobe lighting powder in incandescent light. That's a highlighter, an opalescent pearl. And my calculations say, oops, let me hold this up. My calculations say that it is existing. Um, I show a new blush here, this ambient lighting blush in soft flush, this deep mauve blush. I believe that's new. Then we have an existing ambient lighting powder in diffuse light. I know I have that. Here is a new blush in sunset glow, which is like a terracotta blush, and a new uh, strobe lighting powder in celestial strobe golden light. It's like a champagne color highlighter. My calculations say it's new. All right, the first thing I want to do in terms of swatching these, we're going to go inside and outside. What I did on my arm, I'll, show, I'll tell you before we start here, is I did elephant, tiger, and then butterfly is underneath. So elephant, 
as you see right here in studio lighting, elephant is on the crook of my arm, then tiger is down towards the wrist, and butterfly is at the bottom. Each one is done in two rows, just like the palettes themselves. That is something new I started with the Natasha Denona palette, and I've gotten so much good feedback about it, being able to actually see it in the way it's laid out in the palette. And remember, if you like any of those three color stories on my arm there, you can go on the Hourglass site and choose one of them and switch the cover. You just have to create your own. Can't mix the shades up, of course, but you can do that. And now what I think shows this off to the best is if we go outside into the scorching hot, but now humid, tropical stormish, we don't know what to do with ourselves in California, sunshine. Take a look at this outside on my, on my arm. Same old, same old. We have got the shades on my arm from the elephant on the left, tiger next to it, below is butterfly. All right, now what I wanna do, you guys, is I wanna get this stuff on my face. Okay, so let's dig into these. Let's start with our elephant palette, and then we're just gonna take it off. I actually did a version of this video first where I put it all, all over my face. It was absolutely ridiculous and you couldn't see anything, so we're not gonna do that. It was just silly. So we are gonna start with one of the new shades here in our Elephant palette, which actually is a bronzer. It's this fourth shade, or the first one here, and it's the only bronzer in all of them. So I'm just gonna use it just to kind of warm my face up, and you guys can tell me what you think. We won't have it on for the other palettes because they don't have a bronzer. So see what you guys think. And then we're just gonna do just a really quick look. I'm not even doing the eyes or anything like that. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and what we're really interested in here, you guys, are the blushes. So let's go ahead and do, we have two different blushes, number five and number six here, I'm calling them that. We have the brand new ambient lighting blush in Iridescent Coral, and we have the new ambient lighting blush in Radiant Rose. So let's do one on each cheek, and I'll switch brushes. So here's our first one, and I'm just going to put it here, and I'm going to purposefully overdo it. Very, very purposefully overdo it, you guys. Just so you can really know the shade, this is a new shade, and it is in the traditional Elephant palette. And of course, please know that you can go ahead and pick this color story with a different, you can go with a different cover. Okay, and now we're gonna go into the second shade, which is also new, and it is our blush in a radiant rose kind of berry shade. And again, I'm going to really, really, really overdo it. See, when I did this video before, my first go at this earlier today, I tried to put kind of it all on for fun, and it was silly. I mean, it was a great idea, you guys, but it was just, it looked silly. Now, this looks silly as well, but I am overdoing it on purpose so that you guys can have an idea of what this all looks like. Okay, I'm going to use kind of eye brushes here just for we're gonna to try to get some of the highlighters on. So we have a new highlighter here, which is our new Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Powder um, is our third one over. So this is a highlighter here, you guys. Right here, and I know this is an eye brush. I just wanna show it to you. This is a highlighter. It's very, very, very golden. In fact, you'll really see it if I put it down my nose, which is in and of itself silly but I just kind of want you to see it. And the rest in here, we have a finishing powder, two finishing powders, <laughs> this is silly, that we've seen before. Um, so we don't need to try those, and then we tried everything else. And that is, I will do a pretty look, including the eyes, but I just want you to see what you haven't seen here is the highlighter, as silly as that looks, and the two new blushes from the Elephant palette. Let me take this off, cover up any of this color, and then let's do the tiger. Stay right there. Okay, now it's time to do some quick, almost face swatches, really, just from the tiger palette or what Hourglass is initially putting inside the tiger cover. I just want to remind you that you can mix them up. So we have 
two blushes in this palette and both are new. So we have this is a new blush and this is a new blush. So let's try them both on. Here is our first one right here, which is very deep. And please remember, I'm almost kind of face watching you guys. This is not how I would apply blush and go out in public. Please do not, please know that. We're just putting them all over the face. Just a little silly looking just so you guys can see the shade. I'm really doing a real quick face swatch. And here is our second new blush, which is going to go on the other side of my face. Also a little bit silly, just bear with me. I just want you to just see it so you guys know that if you're getting what they've initially put into the Tiger palette, which to me is the deepest shades, and that has a nice little um, kind of glowy quality to it and this is a much deeper more matte quality those are the two blushes we have three highlighters so let's see what we can do with that there's a new highlighter right here this is brand new so let me get a new brush here this one right here is a new highlighter right next to it here is a pressed powder like a finishing powder for a deeper skin tone. I'm gonna to put this one right here on the nosy not because I think that's cute or anything but I'm just trying to make sure you can see the shade I told you we we're going to look a little silly. Okay, we also have a highlighter on our fourth and fifth shade. This is a highlight here. I'll put it ab above this super dark blush. It's kind of a golden champagne. See it there? Okay. And switching brushes to go with our last highlighter here, which is kind of a copper one. Ooh, that's pretty. And we'll put that over there. Look at that again for our deeper skin tones, but for somebody like me, for anyone light to light medium would be beautiful on the eyes. And I really would love to do like some sort of an eye look with it. I'm just kind of sticking to face swatching each of these palettes today, just because I want you to see one, two, three highlighters and two blushes. And um, we also have this kind of this right here, which is a finishing powder for deeper skin tones. Let me get this off. Can you imagine me going out like this? Even I wouldn't. And we are going to look at Butterfly, so stay right there. Okay, now we're ready for Butterfly or what Hourglass originally put into the Butterfly cover. Please know that in between each of these, I am I'm taking it off with a um, with a washcloth and then I'm putting back on my foundation base so that I cover anything up and you guys can see this. But please remember also, this isn't a look I'm doing. Really, I'm kind of hoping that you're knowing what to do with your own look. And I'm just wanting to basically face swatch these for you. That's essentially what we're doing. And we're making a little bit of mess at the time. Okay, so we have a finishing powder in here that has been done before because this has three old and three new. And whereas I see the elephant is kind of for our medium skin tone and tiger is definitely for the deepest skin tones, for me will look beautiful on my eyes, really. Probably on my face too, because I don't care. Butterfly appears to be for lighter skin tones, except the blushes are kind of powerful. So they do mix it up a little bit here. All right, so we have a finishing powder that we've seen, and we have a highlighter here that we've seen. We have a new ambient lighting blush in Soft Flush, which is kind of a deep mauve shade, which I'm going to go into right here. And remember, this is not how I would generally apply blush. I probably would if I could, but I'm really just trying to face swatch this for you guys. So you kind of, I have a lot of makeup artists who watch this channel. And since I'm an editor and not a makeup artist, they are not watching me for application tips. They're watching me to see the shades. So this is for them, just so you guys can see what the shade looks like on light, medium, neutral skin. Okay, then we have another blush here. We have um, this terracotta blush, which is kind of the next to last right here shade. This one, um, that's pretty deep for what I called originally the lighter palette. Um, let's see what we get with this one here. Again, just kind of face watching it for you guys. I keep saying that because I'm terrified someone is going to tune in. Look, I mean, these blushes are pretty heavy for a palette that I said was for the lightest skin tone. So maybe I ought to take that back. Whoa! That's a look, isn't it? <laughs> okay, and then we have two highlighters. Um... We have some of the like diffuse light finishing powders and setting powders, 
but you guys know what those look like. So let's look at our highlighters here. Um, our second one in is a, a highlighter we have all seen before. This is the Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder in Incandescent Light, an opalescent kind of pearl shade. And see, this one is really fair. I put it, <laughs> I put it on the nose. We're having fun here, guys. I, I can't even take myself seriously, but I put it there just so you can see. That's a real fair, please don't laugh. We're just trying to look at this here. And then um, we also have the Celestial Strobe Golden Light, um, Golden Champagne Highlighter here. Also, um, this one is a new one, according to my <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put that one there. That's super pretty. I can't. I, I can't take myself seriously. I'm the one telling all of you guys to laugh, and here I am cracking up. All right, so I have made a clown, but I wasn't... I wasn't trying to be silly or make fun of the palettes, you guys. I really wasn't. I really just wanted to face swatch them so you could have the information. I will put together some actual pretty looks using them both on eyes and on cheeks. And those will be coming soon in other videos. And I'll do it over on TikTok and all that stuff. I just wanted to get the information out so you could see the colors. And then we'll go in and use them. And I just did not want a 40-minute video. Um, boy, I could have. And I'm super excited about these. They're so, so pretty. All right, so if you can handle taking me seriously here for a moment, let me know what you guys think. I mean, they were a pretty penny. They're expensive palettes. So could you tell me if you got any of them? Let me know if you use the little feature that they have, which is that you could switch the cover with the color story. So let me know if you did that. How are you feeling about Hourglass? People were really angry at Hourglass for a while. How are you feeling about them now, if you could take me seriously here as we talk? <laughs> so we'll do some prettier looks. Let me know all of your thoughts below. Um, and holidays really kicking off. I'm happy. I can't wait to use these and do individual looks with them. That'll be incredibly fun. So we'll we'll get to we'll get to doing that soon. Let me know what swatches you guys need over on Instagram. If you need any comparisons or anything like that, you just let me know. Super happy to do that for you. If any information here didn't work for you, just let me know what you need from me and I will be over that. Look for more looks soon. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I sure hope that you did. Hey, if you haven't already done so, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that we can get the word out to more people with this, you know, crazy looks going on over here. Come join us with Super Thanks or join and become a member for behind the scenes stuff. And I hope to see you over on Instagram and TikTok too. And of course, in the next video. Bye-bye.